So now uh, we are in question 18. It says open 02 Windows with Revit, activate the 3D view, and what is the density of the glass material in the window highlighted? I will open um, 02, 02 Windows and um, activate the 3D view and here there is this window highlighted to get the density of the glass material I will go to edit type and here the material glass I will click on this little icon now the material is opened to get the density I will go here under thermal and here is the density of the glass so I will go here and that is the density of the glass question 19 it says uh, open building 2b activate level 1 floor plan and I should tag the highlighted window by category and edit the label of the tag family so it shows the cost parameter and then I should reload the tag family and what is the cost of the store so <coughs> I will close this window and close this file now I don't need it and I will open building 2b I will open building 2b and activate level 1 floor plan and tag the highlighted window by category I will go to annotate and tag by category and make sure that I have selected the right element and here there is the number 45 I don't know uh, what number uh, does this represent but I will edit the I will edit the label to edit the label I double clicked it and now to edit the parameter it's showing I select this element and I will go to edit label and the parameter it's showing is the type mark I don't want it to show the type mark I want it to show the cost I will go here and uh, select the cost double click it to move it to be represented or shown and press ok now the edit the the tag family is ready I will load it back into the project and overwrite the existing uh, with its parameters and now it's showing that the cost of this window is 50 the cost of this is 50 next question question 20 it says open 02 families I'll close that one close that one also and that one I don't need it I will open 02 families and what is the material of the back of this chair this chair that one I will double click it to open the family editor and the back of this chair the material of it is textile bamboo weave I will go here 
and I'll select textile bamboo weave. Question 21, it's about the roofs. I will close that one, close that one, and I will open the roof. I should open roof 2B. And activate a level 2 pro plan view. It's already activated. And create a roof by footprint using the exterior rules with the following settings. Here are the settings and for the lines defining slope. Here are the lines that are defining the slope as you see in the image here all the lines are defining the slope so i will go to roof and roof by footprint the level is level 2 okay the level is level 2 the type is generic 400 the type is generic 400. The rafter cut is two cut plump. Rafter cut two cut plump. For the lines defining slope, okay, we saw here those are the lines defining the slope. The overhang is 0.65 and um, accent tool core unchecked. Overhang. 0.65 and extend to work or unchecked. And here it's written create a roof by footprint using the exterior walls with this uh, shape uh, that is represented. So I will go like this and now I will press tab to select all the walls and by default here all the lines are Finding the slopes, I will press finish. And what is required? What is the area of this roof? So while I am selecting the roof, I will go here and I will go to check the area. It's one five two point four eight one. One five two. 0.481 that is the roof next question it's about the rails I will close this file and I will open rails 02 I will open rails 02 and I should create a rail using those dotted line. With those settings, the base level, the type, and the offset and the offset from path. Okay. I'll activate level 1. And I will create a railing. <coughs> And here the base level level one and the type 900 millimeters and the offset zero and the offset from path 0.3 here, here it's all uh, correct and um, now I press finish now the rail is created, but there is an extra step. Change the baluster main pattern distance from previous to two meters. To change this parameter, I will select the rail and go to edit type. And here under baluster placement, I will um, main 
pattern distance from previous so here that is the main pattern and here is the distance from previous here I should change it to 2 meters and press apply ok apply ok the question is how many balances does the right side of the rail have so this pointed by the arrow so on this side how many balances do I have from that side I will open the 3d view and go here and I will count I'll I have one two three balances the answer is three 